the All People's Party APP has been on the ground. We are on the ground and we shall continue to be on the ground engaging people, Namibians, different age groups on how to make Namibia better again in terms of uh, giving some solutions to the social ills Namibians are facing. Secondly, our key election promises, as we all know that uh, political parties have their manifestos for the five-year period, All People's Party is going to its uh, third national congress as from the 23rd to the 25th of this month, which is next week. And our manifesto will be approved by Congress then. After Congress is whereby we are going to tell the nation that we have a new approved uh, and adopted manifesto that we are going to market and campaign with this year's national and presidential election but be that it may we speak to the unemployed youth we speak about sme support without red tape bureaucracy we speak about quality and free universal health care we are speaking about comprehensive land redistribution all People's Party speak about land property price control and providing portable water and sanitation. Last but not least, we also speak about constitutional review. As a party, upon elected, within a year, we promise this country and the nation to call for a compressive, all-inclusive national constitutional dialogue and national constitutional review conference to review the whole constitution through national consensus, unlike SWAPO, piecemeal individual inspired by amendments done over the past 15 or 29 years to say. IPP, as I said, from the first day of its establishment has been growing and APP is on record that it's the only party that keeps on growing. We started with a single seat in parliament, two local authority councillors, now we have two seats in parliament, four local authority councillors. What does it tell you? It tells you that there's growth and 100% growth for that matter. Therefore, we are saying confidently that our party is continue to grow and we shall do better than before this year come 27 November 2019 national and presidential election. Thirdly, uh, fourthly, uh, rather, we are not uh, aiming at small fish like PDM. PDM to us is not a matter because we are not aiming for big things, uh, small things, uh, pardon me. We are aiming for a government, not official opposition. What is official opposition? It doesn't have anything to do with the nation's life apart from making statement here and there. But all what we are saying is that uh, PDM is out of our way. We don't see PDM neither as a competitor. And of course, the growth that I'm talking about, we are going to grow more than PDM. But our aim is to take over government, not to become official opposition with five C's. No, 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 no. That's too small for us. 
if it happens to be that we become official opposition, we probably have to become official opposition with 18, 25 seats, not five seats. That's very small to us. Therefore, we are running our marathon race in our own line, not aiming for five seats or so. We are also having uh, different uh, programs. As I said, uh, for now, the concentration is much more on the Congress, but right after Congress, we are going to engage young people across Namibia in recruiting them into the APP, in giving them our manifesto that is going to inspire them to vote for the party and to also make them part and parcel of the whole movement because APP is not a party of old people it's neither not a party of young people but we are all people's party the name speaks volume therefore young people are welcome in our movement young people are part and parcel of the movement and young people shall be part and parcel of the movement because young people have been part and parcel of the establishment of this movement therefore nobody is left out in terms of app management and leadership our government if voted into power shall have the president no vice president prime minister and one minister for each ministry but we are not going to have so many ministries the less number that we are going to have of ministers are just 15. one deputy minister one permanent secretary we are going to reduce the directorates and also reduce some of the unnecessary ministries to make them directories under different ministries. Thank you very much.